all right guys y'all might remember this one because of these ants those things have already started to come back i gotta do a repair on the heat strips first i'm gonna verify that I have no power and then we're gonna I just wash those out of there they gotta get some ant killer out here I'm gonna verify we ain't got no power I'm gonna make my repair And then we're going to test our heat and see how it does. No power. No power. No power. And we only got one power source. No power. <clears throat> All right, this is what I found. This one had actually been, see if you can see it. It had actually been welded right there from the electricity to the, um, this plate right here. All right, so I need to get a nut driver and put a wrench on that and see if I can't get these, get these out of there without damaging my heat strip. Real easy to um, to break that ceramic that's under there. And these, if you look at them, are really nice for getting into tight spots to put a backup wrench on something. looks like that piece just broke and then it fell over and touched that panel right there
a solid. I love these strippers. By far, the best I've used. There we go. It is worth it sometimes to have the exact replacement. That ceramic is old so it's real easy to tighten down and break something all right so we're fixing the it don't really matter which one goes to which one of these wires goes to which zip tie that mosquitoes are eating me up you know what zip ties are real cheap I decided to leave that there because I don't want it actually vibrating up against the metal zip ties are cheap and helps to make a job look good all right now we're gonna put power back to it and then we're gonna jump out the heat right, because I can't get in right now got ants in there too jumper
I could have sworn I just heard these limits clicking. Maybe not. There's my jumper. All right, we we got power. Let's jump. Let's jump from red to white. I swear I'm hearing what sounds like limits clicking. No call on on white. Let me see something. Nothing. Nothing. Two hundred and forty volts. Mm, hold on just a second. That's that's one of my heat strips. Yep. That sequence are stuck, and that may be part of the reason that um heat strip you know shorted like that. So I'm gonna kill the power. We're gonna have to replace that. Making sure I don't have power. Nothing to ground, nothing to ground, nothing. Um, I know this top one right here is for the blower, so I'm gonna put. I chose this is what I had. I chose one the M5 and M6 because it comes on, it's time to come on after that one. It's not gonna be the first one to come on. Man, those things were on there. Tap a screw down in there.
<laughs> All right, let's hook up low voltage. Mm, that's loose. Oh my god, the mosquitoes out here are terrible. There's got to be some standing water somewhere near around. Forgive me, I, I thought I heard somebody walking close to me in these sticks over here. And uh, in some of these neighborhoods, you got to keep your head on a swivel. Try that again. check and see what I was hearing all right so I have I'm testing between hot and white and I have no call I'm testing the bottom of the sequencers I have no call so I should have 240 volts across there's actually three sets of contacts here That's good. So now let's jump from red to white. First thing to close should be these right here. Brings on the blower. <clears throat> Next thing to close should be that first set of heat strips. Okay, so that sequencer I just installed should 
click in here in just a second. All right, now let's take our jumper off and make sure that everything cycles off like it's supposed to. No voltage. No voltage. This should show 240. 240. The blower should show 240. It does. And finally, this last heat strip. 240. So not only did we make a repair, we may have found why that thing burnt the way it did and fixed it. So we're good to go. I guess I should not have been surprised by another problem being found after finding that limit and the heat strips in that condition but yeah I, w I was not expecting that and I'm glad I caught it on camera thanks for watching guys <laughs>